What is the weirdest level in Geometry Dash? Well, we went on a quest to find it, and in the end, I regretted every second of our search. Things got pretty crazy. We started our journey with Love Letter by Typhoon Thunder, a map that tells the tale of a man who wishes he can bring his anime waifus to life. Pretty relatable. The level looks amazing. The designs are so crisp and modern, but the level's plots, decorations, and song are more than questionable. It's so sad because the talent was certainly there, but it was put in this goofy little project, leaving the map completely unrateable. Geometry Dash 3 Streamers like to take level requests from viewers, but with an internet filled with silly kids, this of course gets abused. We found a trend in the Russian community where viewers would send streamers maps titled Prosto Level. They had innocent gameplay to lure them in and get them comfortable, and then BAM, completely uncensored porn would pop up to ruin the stream and get it taken down. New hacks allow players to take images and convert them into pixel arts in Geometry Dash, making it very easy easy to build and spread these prosto levels. When we tried to search for them ourselves, nothing popped up. Robtop banned certain search terms to help keep the game more, well, kid friendly. Though this obviously doesn't filter out all NSFW levels. You can try turning on parental controls, which only lets you play approved maps and blocks comments. But this does a lot of weird things to your game. For one, it completely removes the map pack tab, which is pretty weird. But all right, good riddance. Nobody had fun playing those. But the restrictions don't even work properly. You can still hop into the recent tab and see all the crazy stuff going on in there. And whenever you try to open up the comments, it straight up crashes your game. And the funniest thing is, when you hop back into Geometry Dash, all your parental controls are turned off again. What was he smoking when he made this, dude? I don't know. <laughs> 2003 Devin is one of the most notorious creators in the game. Game. While many players like to build safe, sanitized maps to please Robtop and get those sweet, sweet creator points, Devin takes a different approach, creating whatever his messed up mind thinks of. Nothing is off limits, making his level some of the weirdest in the game and himself one of the strangest players. Interestingly, all his maps are 100% available to access in Geometry Dash. Very interesting for a game that's advertised as safe for kids, but okay. Though his crazy levels tend to strike a chord with the game's equally crazy audience, allowing 2003 Devon to be voted as the best art creator in the Geometry Dash 2021 awards. The hardest levels today are short and filled with crushing gameplay, but others like Larger Aspera take a decently hard demon and stretch it out like crazy, creating a tough challenge. Oh my days, these blind jumps are gonna kill me, dude. The level's name means long wait in Spanish, which is a reference to the long wait for Geometry Dash's 2.1 update. Oh god, has it really been six years since 2.1? Jeez, Robtop. I remember when the update dropped, I had my friend over and I let out a high-pitched scream when I saw it in the app store. He was probably thinking, why on earth am I friends with this kid? Now, I was only allowed to play one hour of video games a day, but that night, I stayed up late trying to beat Finger Dash. Anyway, this map's length alone bumps its difficulty all the way to a hard demon, because one single mistake far into our run will reset like 10 minutes of progress. This is Tax Evasion, the number one map on the impossible levels list. That's a chart that ranks the hardest physically possible maps in the game. Physically possible meaning you could beat them without hacks, but they're so tough that no human would ever clear them. Unless, of course, you're able to do 20 clicks per second and a thousand frame perfects in a row. The world record for this level is 0.5%, not even one, it's 0.5. Yes! But whatever man, tax evasion should be pretty easy, I mean, I do it all the time. Let's see how hard it truly is. Yeah, no, I'm not actually playing whatever this is, but thanks to the mod menu I create Pro, I was able to bot this level, run crazy high frame rates, have rainbow icons, install a cool texture pack, and much more, all on my iPhone. It cost only 5 bucks, but you can get trial access for 24 hours to check it out. No credit card, no nonsense. And when you buy it using my link, I'll get a cut of the purchase, so thank you. Now, back to discussing the most cursed maps mankind has ever made. We all know that G 
Geometry Dash is a perfectly optimized game, but some bugs make for some crazy levels. By using a simple combination of in-game triggers, you can make yourself a contraption that literally crashes your game when you activate them. So this leads us to one of the funniest maps ever, Crash Trigger Maze. Go the wrong way and your game completely breaks. It's a complete mockery of Robtop's coding skill. The level unknown processing also abuses some bugs. It's just blast processing, but the creator took the entire map and plopped it far in the editor. The level is supposed to be 3 days long, but a bug transports you right into the action. When stuff is this far in the editor, strange things happen to the game. It's kind of like the Farlands in Minecraft if you've seen those, but this makes for one of the weirdest levels in the game. Not the weirdest one though. We found something a lot stranger than this. You've seen AI made images and videos, but what about AI Geometry Dash levels? Well, one coder managed to pull this off and created an account that spits out AI-generated maps. They're all pretty bad, many of them completely impossible. I don't know what you expected from an AI-made level, but they're still pretty cool to see. Transparent's Mega 07 looks like a completely ordinary map until you realize that the entire thing was stolen from another creator. Robtop still rated it, even though it was completely robbed. I know it was just a mistake and it happened a long time ago, but I think justice needs to be served over here. Half of this guy's levels are just him stealing other people's stuff. Not cool at all. The level Smetana is pretty well built, but stepping out of the gameplay reveals the weird part about it. It's rated normal, so it should reward 3 stars, but it gives 9 instead as if it were an insane level. But the gameplay is more at insane difficulty than normal, so I really don't know what's going on here. Now after days of searching around, we stumbled upon one of the weirdest creators this game has ever seen. I Ivan Lego 1337. Now, Ivan has a thing for Geometry Dash, Anime Girls, and War. That's a weird little internet thing where people get off to the thoughts of consuming others. I don't even want to get into that. I've already risked the monetization enough. Put all these things together, and you get yourself the weirdest level in the game, War in the Forest. It's a story of a beautiful anime girl going on a peaceful walk, but oh no, a scary war monster has been lurking around and it's a big hungry boy. She continues on her journey oblivious to the impending danger, and alas, the worm traps her with its huge tongue and pulls the poor girl closer to its mouth and I think we'll stop there. The monster eats the girl up and we get clips of her literally being digested in its stomach, all animated beautifully inside Geometry Dash. Videos of this infamous level live online, but the original map has been taken off the servers, presumably by Robtop himself. Oh god, how I wonder how he must have felt when he saw this, seeing his little 2D platformer game being used for this filth. Be sure to check out iCrate Pro, it's an absolute must-have for iOS players. But anyway, I thank you for watching and I'll catch you later.